People around the world, we have finally added Google one-click authentication, which is Google Auth, otherwise known as. And the way you do that is quite straightforward. We're gonna jump straight into this tutorial. Now, previously, when you click on, so you go over here, you go into email accounts, click on add account, and once you're there, click on Gmail. We previously had uh, app password or two-factor authentication, which effectively meant that you had to put in a, pretty much an SMTP-based approach where you click on this, you'd add a bunch of details. Now. With the new way, you click on add account, click on Gmail, click on OAuth. Once you do that, you'll be shown a little panel over here that will guide you through how to go through this, and we're gonna go that right now. Firstly, you wanna click on your admin panel once or in the you know account or browser that is logged into your main uh, you know Google account itself. So in this case, I've got an account called Grow Smart Lead. I'm just gonna put in my password. Great, so I did put in my password and now it does ask me to go ahead and sign in with an administrator account. In this case, this is my admin account, the first one over here. So once I sign in with my admin account, I am going to go ahead and try get this authenticated, uh, again with my password, we go all the way through. Uh, now do note that this is a verified account, so I will walk you through how you are gonna go ahead and do it in a situation your account is not verified. And I'll tell you how exactly you wanna go ahead and plan for that. So, all right, so we're over here. You will be thrown to this particular page. And do note, like I said, you need to log in with the admin of the account of the workspace that you own. If you have a workspace with maybe you know 20 domains or 10 domains and 50 accounts, you want to be the admin of that account because what we're doing over here is adding an internal application. So we're gonna click on the add app, which is this little button over here, click on add app, and then you wanna click on OAuth name or client ID. So that is my followed by OAuth name or client ID. Great, so once you click on that, what it's gonna do is you're gonna show this little thingamabob, and what you wanna do is copy this thing, just click on copy, which will be copied, and you wanna paste that and search. Once you search for it, you will find Smart Lead, and you wanna select Smart Lead, right? So once you've selected that, so that's that's all good, um, just click on this one over here, then you wanna go select, and you wanna go ahead and say trusted can access all Google services. Uh, we will obviously only access your, your Gmail, basically we're sending, receiving, and viewing all your um, emails. Once you've configured it, it will show up over here just like this and say Smartly is now a trusted uh, um, application to access your Google services. And once you're there, that's that's pretty much all you have to do. You wanna approve smartly.ai and then simply connect connect with G Suite. That's all you've got to do. Now, do note, obviously this is a bit of a process, but this is only done one time per admin account or workspace. So obviously this is the first time you're doing this for this workspace, which is, you know, the Grow Smart Lead, whatever. Uh, once I connect my G Suite over here for any future account, so just say this go, this one over here, I'm just gonna connect that and it'll say, yep, give me access to read my email accounts and so on and so forth. I mean, emails and read and compose. Uh, one second. All right, I realized that account was already there. So I have had another account called vibe.growsmartlead, which is the other admin account, you know, that I, own right here. But the premise is after this, if you go to add any more Gmail accounts that belong to this admin console, you will not face that issue. Uh, well, the issue is the wrong word, but you will not go ahead and see that entire process. It will just be pretty much just click, 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 straight process, and you're good to go. So it's one click, one auth setup, and you're done. No worries about 2FA or app passwords or maintaining your uh, login details. It's pretty much just the normal authentication process that you want to go through, which is a normal one click auth, signed by Google. Just click the button, you're authenticated, and you're good to go. And then once you're there, you can obviously manage your warm-ups, your, your management, you can do everything that you want that you normally would there. So finally, we are live with this. I hope you enjoy it. I know it's gonna save a lot of time and a lot of headache for you. And do note that obviously using this process is relatively safer in terms of the disconnects and overall management compared to 2FA and you know the SMTP approach. So enjoy it, love it. It will help you significantly with your ad bound, your Gmail outreach, as well as your cold outreach. Have a fantastic day and a fantastic, fantastic start to your cold ad bound campaign if you've not started yet and if you have smash it and I'll see you in the next one